CTV family. Catch us live on your TV screens. At the ghetto sessions, ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, the vibe out here is amazing. It is just a vibe at its own fire emoji, as you know that I always say. You are still watching XA live right now. I'm sitting with a photographer, an artist, and one of the partners of Storeroom um, Creatives in Kailicha. Udwa Musise, welcome to XA Live. Yeah. All right. So now, for those who do not know, the story room creative is a, is a gallery that's out here in Kailicha where you showcase different types of artwork, right? So please just articulate a little bit on to us what does an artist have to do in order to get their um, work showcased in the story room creatives? Well, basically, the story room is uh, it's, a, it's a small gallery basically in the township. Yeah. So now the main aim of the story room is to take the artworks much more like to the community or the townships. Yeah. Because for the people in the township, it's hard for them to go to town and see the artwork in their eyes. So we do murals upon the township just to put light yes. in the township so they, they might be visiting to other people. So yeah, yeah. Visit. Yeah. So, Beyond that, so there's no criteria for artists that can, like put their work. But then, for us, as we dealing with the township people, we need also to be digging in the artworks that we have or uh -huh. Try to use more like recycled material mm. in order for them. Okay. So basically, it's an artwork for the community. Okay, okay. And I realize with the artwork that is around here, you are very African with the things that you've showcased. So I think that's the theme that you go with in the gallery, right? Well, it's a theme. It's an African key. Okay. Right? So you gotta show who you are and where you're from. Also, be more than as we are. Yes. Because we are also like the born free. So we need to be free. Exactly. And also show our roots as well. Yeah, that's yeah. totally true. Speaking about born free, today is Freedom Day, right? Yes. Um, so just tell me a little bit how do you celebrate a Freedom Day? Well, for us as artists, I think it's 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 in our work. How do we celebrate yeah. like Freedom Day? I mean, as you can see behind your back, that's more like hip hop culture. Uh -huh. so being modern and being free for us it means it comes at the time. Yeah. Because yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a part of it. I mean, it's art. We can actually like put this the, the meanings differently. Mm -hmm. Because it's art for us. We are always free as artists. Yes. So upon our work, it's like that. Yeah. So speaking about work also, um, I believe that during the year, while when the lockdown started, there was a relief fund that was given out, well, rather that was put out for um, artists to apply for and to get. Did you guys apply for the relief fund, and how did that process go? And did you actually get that money? Well, well we, we, we are amongst the community who didn't get the fund, but then we didn't really apply for okay. To some who applied but then didn't get the fund, it's 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 sort of more like intriguing as artists because we, like I believe as lockdown, we suffered the most because yes. for us, it's sorry as people from the township, I mean it's lockdown, we're not supposed to visit one another. Mm. So for us, we're busy starting there. Yeah. Not really starting, but then there's no much effort that the artists are putting on because money is, is the motivation for artists. Yes. I mean, yes. buy material, equipment for them. So that's your pain. Yeah. So now it was pretty tense for those who didn't get it. Yeah. I, I believe that. I like to think they are because it's what they say. Okay. Now before we leave, because we have to wrap up this interview, um, I want to ask a nice, uh, fun, relaxing question. Describe yeah. your work in one artistic word. One artistic word? Yes. Wow. I think wow would be much wow. More wow. <laughs> uh, maybe three words would be much more better, but then if you're looking for a wow factor, I'm okay. guessing it like this is the wow. seed of the township. Uh, yeah, like, wow. wow. Wow indeed. And that's how we have to wrap up this interview. You're watching XA Live. Thank you so much, Budamu, for sitting down with it's us. Okay. You do not go anywhere, as I always say. We're gonna go back to studio right now, but catch us here at XA Live channel 263. The same night we're still here at Ghetto Station having so much fun we will definitely put your details down below so that people can interact with you and also try to find out how to put their artwork at story room excel live that's where we at see you now now
listen, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you saw that incredible performance. Thank you so much, Mona Lisa, for doing the amazing things that you are doing at Keto Sessions. But here at the Grand Africa, we're doing fly, fly things. And as you saw at the beginning of the show, in Jovo Youth Choir opened up with a banger. And this man over here, it is part of the influence of that, ladies and gentlemen. He is the conductor of this incredible. Listen, he said to me, anything you can hear, I had to do it. So can we please just give you your, <laughs> give you your flowers while you're still alive? Congratulations no, on everything you've achieved. Oh, no, thank you very much. Yeah, very kind of you. I thank literally want to know what goes into making such an incredible team come alive. I mean, you talked about a certain stage in your life where you guys couldn't be together, but now you are and you're here, you're at Africa Rising. How much work does that take to put in such a beautiful performance and come here and give us the best? Yeah, it takes incredible amounts of work, you know, and also not only that, but creativity, you know, from the whole team. Yeah. Um, and, 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 you know, the, the, the choir just, just really puts in the hours every week, even during lockdown. Yeah. You know, when it's hard, you, you know, there was a stage, particularly last year, April, May, June, you, you couldn't see the end of COVID, what yeah. was going to happen. That's so true. Um, and the choir just continued rehearsing, continued believing in themselves, yeah. continued pushing. Yeah. Um, and I was actually quite emotional standing on the side watching them today. I was so proud of them. And yeah. I was so proud of not only their performance, but their, their hearts and their passion and their attitude. And that's what makes it. And I really just want to know what pushes you to be able to push them. Because I love with young people where if they get the proper guidance, they'll be able to do incredible, amazing things. So what, what goes into your mind to be like, you know what, I know they are fabulous, amazing singers and they can produce exactly what they did on America's Next Top, yeah. I mean, America's uh, agency. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, what, after AGT, I mean, the choir became... To me, they represented what is possible for young people in rural areas. Yeah. A lot of people think you've got to come from Jersey yeah. or you've got to come from Cape Town or you've got to come from Durban to make it. Yeah. You don't have to. You can come from a small place because there's talent everywhere. Yeah. And, and they represented that. Yeah. And I felt at that time, and I think we all felt that, we couldn't let that slip. Yeah. We had a responsibility not just to ourselves, yeah. but to young South Africans all over the country. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, if there's one message I'd love people to take away from yeah. the choir is no matter where you are, where you're from, you can do it. You can do it. Listen, and speaking of you being able to do it, I feel like you're very modest right now. You're sitting here, you're <laughs> like, oh, you know, they're so great, they're so amazing. I know what it takes to yeah. build something like this. So how hard is it to actually be in your shoes? Because we only see the bright lights, you know, you're performing, you're telling everyone to cheer, but there's a lot of work that goes into it and, and lots of amounts of time. So how much does it take you to, to be able to put into this incredible project? How long does it take you to create this? No, it's, it's years in making. I mean, oh, uh, years. The, 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 this program that we put together today mm. is, is, is two years of recordings of, of you know, we, we presented a program today, I think, of, of 20 songs. Yeah. We've probably recorded 60 to get to this, you know? Ooh. We just always experimenting, always trying to, you know, find new ways of doing things. Yeah. And so it, 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 it's a huge job, but it's, yeah. it, it's made so much easier when you got like the talent of these young kids, I man. Know. And you're like, look at those, my, my Ferraris and my Bugattis and, and, and Lamborghinis. Your, your trucks. My trucks and my Rolls Royce. <laughs> and you look at that talent and you're just like, wow. That is incredible. Yeah. Now listen, as you know at XA, we are celebrating our Freedom Day and you using your freedom to be here and to, to you know, support Africa Rising. What is, some, what is your advice for young people out there who are saying, ah, oh, we, we are free, but we're sort of still not sure what we're doing with our lives, we're still not sure what it is we should take the next step. What do you have advice for, for any young person that is watching out there that's saying, hey man, I wish I could sing, but I can't, so what else can I do? Yeah, I think for young people out there, you know, if, you, if you're passionate about something, work hard in it and believe in yourself. Yeah. You know, it, 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 it really, the hustle of, of, of going out and doing things and believing in yourself and getting other people to believe in you is so important. Yeah. And you can't do that before you believe in yourself. Yeah. And, 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 and know that you are special, that you are talented and work hard at your craft and develop that craft. Yeah. Because you're special and this country has so much talent yeah. that we just don't tap, that we that is untapped. Yeah. And if we could get all young South Africans believing in themselves and just yeah. pushing, I can tell you this place is incredible. Oh my God. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the man behind the choir in Jobo Youth Choir who's doing incredible amazing things but I feel like right now it's time to find out actually from the choir members themselves to be part of this incredible amazing organization so I need to shut up and I need to link it to Lama to find out Lama take it away now I'm with Ul Sandile from Inlovu Youth Choir world and internationally renowned 
talented members of the Republic of South Africa. It's obvious that singing is your passion. Um, I can only but imagine what COVID-19 did to you guys. Let's take a lockdown level five, for instance. You couldn't move anywhere. You couldn't meet. Um, take us through your experience here you know, when you first met and you reunited since the levels of the lockdown were dropped. Yeah, um, yo, when we reunited yeah. for the first time, it was, it was strange, eh? Because we were fighting this demon, we don't even know, we still didn't understand what it was. Mm. So it was awkward because we had to social distance, you know, you can't hug, you can't, you know, you can't do our normal things that we usually do because it was still there. But we were so excited sure. to finally be together and we were all hoping that everything just goes back to normal and yeah. start, we go back to the shows since we, we had like more than seven international uh, shows that we had to do. Yeah. The next thing we were locked down and we were home. But yeah, we were so excited to be back together and be on stage. Yeah, Africa Rising is doing a lot of amazing work and you're part of this project. Take me through the experience that you had. Nothing can compare to being imprisoned like one of Mandela for 27 yeah. years. Yeah, yeah. But what were your emotions um, when you set your foot out of an island? You know, um, my I, it was very emotional, yeah. obviously. There's so much history that happened before even Nelson Mandela came. You know, there's so many. I was just reading a lot about that. Yeah. And now, being on uh, um, Robben Island with the choir, to me, we were more like adding more to the history on Robben Island and doing such a, an important initiative for um, artists that are going through a lot, you know, entertainment industry, yeah. everyone. So it was like, I felt like we are on, we went to a war, you know, fighting for our brothers, for our fellow brothers and sisters that are struggling. We are all struggling right now. Yeah. And, you know, just being part of that, to me, it meant everything. We're celebrating 27 years of freedom. What do you appreciate the most about being a born free in South Africa? Well, I appreciate the, 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 the changes that are now happening, you know, mm -hmm. the rights we have rights now and education, we're still fighting for education, big education, but, you know, seeing um, the changes that are happening yeah. to the youth, the opportunities that we get, since that we got this opportunity to be on TV, to, to, to be heard, sure. you know, now we can just voice out our opinions and everything as a youth. That's what most I celebrate, that the youth is being heard. How do you usually celebrate your freedom day? On stage. <laughs> you know, <laughs> nothing else. On stage. Everybody does best. On stage. <laughs> Even on my birthday, I'm on stage. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to that. Let's head on to get a sessions with Umona Lisa. They're also celebrating Freedom Day. Pana Ekaili. Check it out. This is Excel Live. Ladies and gentlemen, we are officially selecting our best dress yeah. here at the get on session. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me do this. Let me get break. Stand still. Stand still. I'm choking. <laughs> Let me do this. We are selecting our
Sneak TV family.